Hey guys, what is up and welcome to my channel. Today we are setting up for September and this video is going up a little bit early because I'm going on a trip this month at the very end and then I'm moving into university. So I wanted to do something fun and colorful for September just because I think that's something that I need, something bright to get me through this time. I really don't want to go back to university, obviously. I want to stay and be with Tristan during everything going on from apartment moving and other things that you'll get more of an in-depth with later on. Wink wink. Anyways, um, but I'm just doing a green tea theme with this adorable raccoon and his name is Cuddles. I named him and I figured the name Cuddles worked very well because he is adorable and cute and he has these green tea leaves that stick up out of his head. I don't know why I chose to do that, I just thought it was really really fun. So if you'll notice, there is little bits of black lining being done in this theme and I wanted to incorporate using different colors to make those tones instead of just, hey, going in with a black pen or a black liner. And nothing against anyone who does that. I think black lining is great. It looks awesome in a lot of things. It was just something I wanted to make this more colorful, bright, and fun for September because I am going back into school senior year of university. Go Lions! And yeah, so here we have different green tea snacks. We have a swirl cakes. I'm not really sure what those are actually called. Comment below if you know. Um, macarons or macarons. One of the two is right. I'm not sure either. Pockies. And we have mochi. Matcha flavored, of course. Kit Kats, the green tea Kit Kats that have come out this last year. And green tea boba. Or boba green tea. Sorry, those words are mixed up. And he is just chewing on a cute little matcha leaf, which... I just thought it was adorable and he has these two little leaves that pop out of his head because he's supposed to be part of the green tea and then of course for our beverages we also have poking around just green tea in itself so unlike my previous videos which it's fun to learn about facts and everything but i'm gonna leave that to honestly the guys who make channels just based solely on interesting animal facts and stuff so you can go check them out if you want to that's totally up to you for this i decided instead is going to be a little bit talking just obviously the intro of talking and me explaining some of the spreads but most of this is just going to be that nice calming music because i know some of you guys will just use this for like when you're studying and you need that good music but you want something in the background or maybe you're doing something else and you put this on just for the music itself i'm guilty of this too sorry bullet journal community you guys do amazing artwork and i do go back and watch them eventually but anyways so I hope you guys enjoy this theme and I will check in with you guys later. Bye! quote it shows it's going to be hard but hard is not impossible it's a simple quote but i thought it fit very well for this month that i'm going into and just for life as it hits me quicker and quicker we are already in almost september guys it is crazy 2021 is almost over and that's just it's unbelievable to be honest so for the font here, I use something that's actually called the green tea font, and I use that for the September and this part, and then after that, I just use my normal fonts and my normal calligraphy for everything else.
Moving on to the calendar spread, usually I do black dark lining for the actual boxes, but for this one I wanted to keep with that theme and I decided to do this in that, I want to say it's called asparagus or something color that I'm using, the 192 Tombow, the one that I'm using for all of the darker greens. So I used that to make the boxes and I just did this cute little snacks in the corner and then these green tea leaves following out that leads into cuddles at the bottom. So my mood tracker always gives me trouble, and this is no different for September, obviously. It caught on the actual circle tool, so didn't give me a clean line at first. And of course, I can never get these measurements right the second time I do them. So for my mood tracker, I just have cute little cuddles in the middle. He's drinking some green tea, 
in this adorable little cup. I'm not sure what these are called, but they're the, um, they're supposed to be the smaller cups that have like the ring around the two bottoms anyways that you see at tea shops. So with that being said, there you go with my mood tracker and I'm just tracking my four moods, which is happy, anxious, sad, and angry. In history's past, I've had problems with my habit tracker when it comes to the stamps, and as you know, I usually stamp it upside down. I don't know why I've always done this, I just have, I've never, like, processed why. Anyway, so for this month, I was extra, extra careful, and guys, I got it. I got the perfect stamps. They went down correctly, they were filled in, I didn't have to go back in and add anything, I didn't have to add, like, paper on it or anything, I had perfect stamps. I was so happy. Moving right along into my notes section. So I am doing notes for four different things. So school, work, my NSLS stuff, and my GRE prep. Now GRE is a test that I have to take for graduation. Not like to graduate obviously, but to get into a good graduate school program. So that's in November, yay, I have not studied for it yet. I have procrastinated so much on this just because of summer classes and stuff. Guys, do not do this. You're supposed to start studying for your GRE at least three months out, and August obviously marks the three-month mark, but because of the fact that the test is November 22nd, I can push the boundaries just a little bit since August 22nd hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Okay, so if you know what a green tea or matcha hockey box looks like, you know that there's black at the top and that the writing is in the middle where there's color and black. Obviously, using a Univo Signo, I cannot get a thick white outline here. And I could have used an acrylograph, but I did not have one on me at the time of filming. So if you're going to do this, I promise you, you will have better luck 
with either a actual paint pen, paint itself, or the acrylograph. <laughs> right along into my grade tracker. For this month I am tracking six grades. I will be tracking six grades for this semester actually. So these classes are geospatial mapping, natural disasters, plant diversity and conservation, wildlife management tech, seminar or senior seminar, and agricultural law. These are all classes that I have to take as a wildlife conservation major and hopefully it goes pretty well. I'm terrified of those big essays because I've had to write so many of them and I'm used to it, but at the same time, I'm just like, ugh, when does it end? And then we're moving on to my expense tracker. So for the expense tracker, I'm doing the two column layout again. And this is because I have to pay for for university. I'm still saving up for the apartment, my paychecks, everything else is going to go on this specific spread. And right next to it is my bill spread. I'm only tracking a few different bills. I'll probably have to add my university money on there too, how much I owe just for tuition, which isn't bad. I have a lot of scholarships and stuff that pays for things. So I'm not complaining because there could be a lot worse of a situation for me. Lastly, we have my weeklies. So I decided to go back to this 7-7 seven, seven spread instead of doing three on one page and four on the other. This is more comfortable for me and I don't have a lot of stuff that I write on weeklies as I've noticed in the past. So I just decided to give more space to the actual drawings in the middle. So for the drawings, I just did snacks going down again. And of course, Cuddles is at the bottom ready to eat them.
Because I'm going on this trip, I decided to do all the weeklies in this video, and for the duration of university, I really don't think I'm going to be doing weekly videos. I think I'm just going to do them all in one big video, that way I have more time and I can actually get stuff out to you guys. So for this one, I just drew a bunch of green tea beverages. So there's a simple cup of green tea, green tea boba, um, a tea kettle, Arizona iced tea, but I'm sorry, Arizona green tea, my bad. Sorry about that, but it's just not the right color. Um, there's the green tea drink from Duncan, and then there is a shot of green tea. And for my last weekly, which is just these four days, I decided to do something different instead of just having a recap. I have my events, my likes, and dislikes. So that is a wrap up on everything, guys. I really hope you enjoyed and you'll get to see a flip through in just a few minutes.